Welcome back and uh, today's discussion is going to be about two other repurposed medications that have shown promise in long hauler symptoms. Before we get started, I just want to say that um, the medications that we've talked about recently and have been repurposed medications. In other words, those medications, ivermectin and fluvoxamine, have been indicated for different illnesses. But we have found that, those, that these same medicines show promising um, outcomes with COVID-19. So take this information that I've been giving you and take it to your primary care physician and see if it's right for you. So let's talk about the medication, the repurposed medication, Maravarac. And Maravarac is used in uh, COVID-19 to decrease the cytokine storm. And we know that if we can decrease the inflammation and bring that cytokine storm under control that people are going to do better. They're going to do better in the hospital. They're going to do better as long haulers. I'm going to just talk about the mechanism of action for Maravarac in very simple terms. These immunological cells that are, that are floating around and, and causing inflammation and and causing a lot of problems in the body. One of the receptors that they stimulate to cause more, to cause more cytokines and chemokines is CCR5. The immunological cell goes to that receptor, that receptor is stimulated, and more inflammatory, pro-inflammatory cytokines, chemokines are released. What Maravarac does is it sits on the receptor and blocks the cells from stimulating the receptor. So if you block the receptor, then you decrease the amount of any cytokines and chemokines, and which leads to a lot of inflammation and, and, and damage in the body. And so we can see that Maravarac could be a real important uh, medication. They're doing a study now with Dr. Patterson at Brown University. So they're doing a clinical study now with Maravarac. Uh, so we can have some, some data that shows, that statistically shows that it works. We know anecdotally it's working because people are saying that I feel better. But the clinical trials, uh, the science has to be in order. So the last medication I want to just mention it, are steroids. And um, steroids are probably one of the most anti-inflammatory medications. And so there's been this ongoing debate um, about where in the timeline of COVID-19 should steroids be used. Of course, we know we don't want to use them too early because it'll shut down the immune response completely. And we don't want that because we need to be able to, we need our immune system to fight the virus. Steroids have shown uh, a promise and they've shown to be effective in the hospital when those patients are doing really bad. And also with long haulers, pulse uh, treatments with steroids, like for a certain length of time have shown uh, to be helpful and to decrease the symptoms that long haulers have. Dr. Fauci in a briefing update on Friday, April the 23rd, announced that the NIH is now doing a large study, a large clinical trial on repurposed medications. They're going to do it. The NIH is going to run this uh, clinical trial. Actually, they're running three. The one I'm really excited about is the, the, the one they're going to do on the repurposed medications. It's called Active 6, A-C-T-I-V 6. And um, it'll be listed in the link below. They haven't identified the seven medications. But when Dr. Fauci was uh, giving the briefing, he did mention fluvoxamine. 
I heard that with my own ears. He just mentioned it. He didn't say that it was going to be on the list. He mentioned that. And then when I went into the article, I had to search through and, and find the article where the NIH is doing the study. And they haven't started the study. Again, they have to choose which seven repurposed medications they're going to use. I, it says right in the title that uh, ivermectin may be used as one of the seven. You know, w we've talked about ivermectin. There's been over, there's been 60 plus uh, clinical trials done on ivermectin. Um, if it's not used as one of the repurposed medications in the clinical trial, I would be really disappointed. So we're gonna hope that it is, and I will keep you up to date. So that's it for this week. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.